For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. So you guys a bit of a review video on a brand new tent from Outwell. So this here is the Outwell Pinedale 6PA. So the Pinedale sits in kind of Outwell's prime collection. So it's a whole collection designed basically to be very price orientated, not necessarily compromising quality, so good quality, but still having the Outwell kind of quirky features and uh, uniqueness of what they kind of do in many ways, but on something that's probably a bit more of a, yeah, a more of a affordable scale, should we say. So what we've got here essentially is a sort of a very generous sort of six person tent. So it's definitely probably more orientated to living uh, than anything. So the living area is pretty much probably bigger than anything else you'll see um, in this kind of width in Outwell's whole range really. So that's why I think in living orientated wise, it's pretty beastly, it's awesome. What we've got is kind of uh, a really nice Outwell embossed 4,000 mil high strata head fabric. Uh, so it's very waterproof, uh, runs about 70 denier as well. So it's a good sort of strength. Necessarily, you've got things like the sort of uh, luminous guy lines, as you can see here, so high visibility, so hopefully it's not going to have a bit of a trip hazard. And again, you've got these really beautiful, big, crystal, kind of clear windows with a slight tint to them as well, so essentially to obscure shapes inside. So it's a way of getting a certain amount of privacy without also um, obstructing your view in many ways, but you've still got sort of toggle up curtains behind that to get the privacy as and when you want it to. You've got this really generous two big bay living area, which we'll see in the moment in just side. And also I should mention actually a wing lounge, which you can't initially see from this camera angle, but as we pan around to it and later on in the video, you can always check that out as well. Massive wedge door here as well for increasing that circulation of air. And the same, you find that with sort of the front door as well. You've got a full frontal mesh door. So your two ton of exterior doors in many way give you an ultimate amount of ventilation that you need really. I suppose if you look at it, it's almost very much based on kind of the airville that sits above it uh, in their sort of, uh, sort of prestige range. So, this has better uh, living room space. Okay, it hasn't got the same level of spec features and spec that kind of the Airville has, but you, for the money, you get an awful lot of tent, you know. At the front of the tent, as you can see, we've got kind of this uh, kind of mini kind of a canopy. It basically is really designed to sort of create a little bit of sort of sheltered area before you enter your main body. You've probably got enough room, you put a kind of a cooking unit just about in here and just put a little bit of protection, certainly against the rain coming down, but also the wind coming inside. And, Mainly the winds come by me initially and it's quite a quite nice place to be. The front sort of door scenario which we'll come into in a second can open up as we can see and there's a little brow pole here which is the fiberglass which you just insert kind of afterwards. Um, you've got a strong kind of uh, webbing straps for pegging the main corners and also you find that you've got again webbing straps front and back to get that real torsion in and get that sort of looking really nice and beefy. It's inflatable so it's quick and easy to pitch. I pitched this model on my own in the best part of about 13 minutes, pumped up, pegged out, which means it's perfect for going away for weeks, let alone little weekends. So, you know, you've got that sort of flexibility that when you get down to a campsite, you haven't got to spend the best part of half an hour, an hour putting a tent up. It's quite simplistic in that way. A manual pump supplied with it as well. Um, so again, it's got a really nice sort of typhoon pump. So it's a good sort of manual pump that doesn't take an awful lot of long to pump them up. But then you also got things like low level ventilation. So down the bottom here, to have a circulation of air. And even in the wing lounge, you pretty much got it all around there. And you've got this new kind of almost like apex uh, vent system at the back, uh, which again, we'll come on to later on in the video. But for the time being, let's probably have a look on the inside of the Pinedale and see what else it has to offer. So now we kind of shimmied around a little bit, you can probably get a bit more idea for the front door. Now you've got this kind of uh, full frontal front door, if you will. And again, you can see this big, big nice crystal clear windows in there as well, but also privacy curtains to get where you need it to. And left shelter gives you that canopy just means you can enter in here and out quite happily without having to worry about the rain coming driving in. Alternatively, what you can do is just obviously unzip that and peg that. And located behind the front door, you've got basically this full mesh door. Now, in many ways, Owl used to do um, kind of a, a large front mesh door. If you had an enclosed awning, it would loosely be located there, which was quite brilliant because it means that the fact that you can, you know, have two layers of mesh front and back. Now, with the 2021 season, they haven't done that in the front, they've moved it back and done like a quick and quiet thing. Um, whereas I feel for me now, this is probably the largest internal space you can make with a mesh door in Atlas range. So for the village, if you want sort of, you know, again, that's a key feature for you, then this tent really does tick that box, you know. There's nothing else really that Atwell do 
like this now. So the mesh doors we see here can be getting similar to the normal door, be halfway or fully open. That means then suddenly on a nice day, you can actually have the maximum amount of flexibility that you can open the tent fully up. And again, you've got a zip along the top as well as along the bottom. So you can bring it halfway and roll it if you wanted to. Alternatively, open it fully up and you can toggle it that side. Ah, I'll do something quick just to make it work. So suddenly then again, once again, you've got this big, nice open area, a bit of canopy. And as you can see what I said earlier, probably the largest living area in Outwell's kind of collection, certainly in one sort of overall space. Mainly because not only have you got the main sort of living area here, but you've got this entire wing lounge as well. So it's a perfect sort of place to put like a little sofa or sofa in the corner there. And it means that suddenly you're taking kind of, or even if you use it as a dead end kind of clutter space, you can take all the clutter out of here, put it, you know, in the corners, then you're using maximizing your living area for your tables and chairs and that sort of stuff. So that's where I feel, you know, again, from the price point of view as well, this probably works really nicely. You've still got great visibility all the way around here. I've got almost like a panoramic view. So I can pretty much look around every single panel as we can see it here and just get that sort of airflow running. All the windows have, uh, in the main living area at least anyway, uh, have uh, curtains. So you've got toggle dividers, toggle curtains that just go up. So you've got a choice again. You can kind of sort of take it almost halfway or if you really want to take it kind of fully up to the top to get the ultimate amount of privacy. So you can now allow sort of flexibility of having a little bit of lighting uh, and, you know, again, a bit of, a bit of privacy. So if you just want to see, you know, have some low level, but still want to see the kids on the campsite, you can quite have to do that. And then when you don't want to, you know, have the curtains in place, all you simply do is just toggle them, well, roll them back up like I just did there. And there's a little toggle that kind of just retains it in this little bit of roll. Again, nice size beams as well in the actual kind of uh, pine, pine dale. And the front beam actually is slightly larger diameter just to give it a bit more stability as well. As well, it's got additional bracing kind of around the beam just to sort of hold it in place. You've also got this kind of, uh, well, it's kind of an Outwell's kind of hook track system. It's kind of not unique to them, but it's kind of almost a copy of what Vango did with the sky hooks. So it's a little track beading that sort of sits in kind of the uh, living area. So you've got one sort of located um, pretty much every beam actually. So you've got one there, one there. And one there so you've got one in every single beam which again you don't see in many with many outwell tents as well so the stability of a little kind of closed peg kind of idea where you just like peg it onto where you need to suddenly it then means you can create a hanging point from that single point so really nice and flexible you almost have a bit hanging from one to another suspend it between the two hang towels and stuff so it's quite versatile and actually to be fair whether that's accurate or not it's also one on that whether that's actually true i'm not sure this is a sample model but so other things to mention as well is we've got cable entry points. So we've got a cable entry point quite happily into here. So you have your main socket coming quite happily in. And always you can use that left door or the front door as entry points if you really need to. Low level, low level ventilation, like we've seen, not only beneath the window in the main living area, but also in the wing lounge. So either side of the two bits here, again, you've got that kind of uh, wing lounge kind of style, help with the circulation of air, and certainly there's a back vent, which we'll come into in just a moment. You've got a fully sewn in ground sheet in there and it does feel very much part of a living area which is its kind of intended purpose but for me it's, it's nice feel quite light and roomy but I think yeah, it's one of those things you sort of step into and going there's a heap ton of room in here you know it doesn't matter how many how much crap you take in terms of wardrobes larders that sort of stuff and even what you can do is bring that door halfway and create almost a dead end space here and it just yeah it's flexible which is, which is what we need in camping especially when it's checking down with rain or the weather turns, you need to keep, keep kids entertained, enough room to do that. You've got more than enough in here, especially for six people, arguably even eight to be fair. The sleeping pods have had a slight change in 2021. So it's the same face fabric, but now we've got a slightly darker panel above it. So rather than having light roof fabric and it's gone down to the green, so the side materials then on the roof. What this means is that essentially it's a little bit darker in here. So it feels darker and hopefully means that kids aren't gonna wake up at, you know, when the sun does first thing in the morning. When we're in here as well, we've got a zip divide between two sections. Now, essentially, it's a free and a free. Admittedly, I would probably, I'd say it's, it's, it's quite a, a sizable free. I would definitely would probably say, look, if this was like the ultimate kind of four person tent for a family where you want adults uh, and then kids, you know, you've got tons and tons of room there or, and lots to do with. Uh, one of the features you've got in the bedroom as well is kind of Outwell's quick and quiet feature. So it's ability of going into the master bedroom, which is on this side here, 
uh, without having to open the zip. So again, a scenario would be if the kids are sleeping and you want to go back to bed after playing cards or whatever, you can quite happily just nip in here and the door shuts behind you, you can then go to bed. So it gives you flexibility that you can kind of come and go as you please. Plus there's a, its own individual mesh panel at the front of all the bedrooms. Quite a nice little thing, something I've sort of introduced in 2020 and kind of carries on, it's a, a nice idea. Alternatively, you want to just use it like a conventional bedroom, so you're not sort of too fussed about it. You can just zip that quick and quiet feature up and then take the bedroom back and roll it back like we have on the opposite side. Oh, Christ, frighten me. Um, doo -doo -doo. So like I said, we've got a zip divider between here and they zip down the sides, not initially on the bottom, but if you want to, you could make this one big open space if you really want to. So it's nice and big open. Again, just flexibility to come through. The back vent system works like this. is a, a kind of vent at the back, but also a cover, so you can get the level of privacy if you wanted to as well. Or you've got a mesh panel on the outside, which we can have a look at. Oh, nice you join us. Oh. Um, again, storage pockets located at the front inside the bedroom as well, so you can put things like a dog's frisbee quite happily in there if you really wanted to. Alternatively, you've also got pockets in the main kind of sides of the bedroom, so you put things like keys, phones, torches, that sort of stuff in there quite accessible uh, as and when you wanted to. Other things as well is you've got a little cable entry point into the main area so you can get your charging point in here quite happily as and when. And again, the slightly darker tint works really nicely as well. What we will do now is pick the carrot now, a little bit of wander around the tent and kind of get a bit more feel for it in many ways. So as we kind of come in, you can see kind of a little bit of the canopy depth initially there. And then obviously when you've got that sort of bedroom sort of size at the back with sort of the two and two, you can see kind of how dark it is when I sort of turn, pan the camera from in the bedroom to out. The difference in tone and material works really nicely and that kind of wing down scenario works really well as well so kind of as you sort of look around the tent and get that sort of panoramic view you know you've got great visibility and like I said well, even when you're in the back corner here the sheer amount of space you've got in here um, works really well and that really big nice open mesh door just adds to the feel of it being all nice and big. As we kind of come out of the tent, like I said, we'll kind of go around it. The tinted windows, I guess they've got a level of privacy. You can just about see them, maybe there's light on the other side, but it still just kind of gives you more shapes rather than detail, which is one of the key things. And you've got this kind of uh, two-stage pegging system at the back, so it means you can get a bit more of a, a deeper bedroom than you necessarily feel, because the back's a bit more vertical at the back. And this vent system is the new one here, so there's a toggle point at the top of all three bits. So what you do is you put it up like so, and then it means you've got, you can leave that vent pretty much permanently open, again, helping with the airflow. And you still have stall straps at the back as well to keep it all neat and tidy. And then there's a little wing lounge with the ventilation points down the bottom. Nice big panel, and it's a solid panel, so you can't go through it like you can with the airville, but arguably, I don't think many people do. Use it like a bit of a dead end corner space, and that way it just sort of sits quite nicely and sort of in place in many ways. So overall, I think it's going to be a really popular model for the 2021 season just because of the versatility. And like I said earlier, the internal space in here is quite outstanding. One model we're looking to try and have on our indoor display showroom is you can always come into the shop and see this in the flesh and sort of get a bit more feel for it. And you can't, I think that's one thing really, to, to be inside of it and feel it and see what you necessarily pay your money for is a big, big difference. If you want any more information on this particular tent, what you can do is check the link below the video. It'll take you straight through to our website. We've got all the information on sort of pack sizes, pack weights, floor dimensions, um, features listed all down, you know, and also our pitching video is also there as well. So you can check out all that in one easy location. But let us know what you think as well. We always love to hear from you guys. But overall, that's kind of our little uh, video review on the new Outwell Pinedale 6PA for 2021 and going forward.